Today I'm going to try and recreate this with this. The newest reverb pedal taken seen by Storm is the Strymon Cloudburst. It's the first of what may be a range of new Strymon pedals that are a smaller footprint and lean into some of the settings in their now legendary range of classic pedals like the Strymon Big Sky and Timeline whilst adding a few extra new sprinkles of magic. The Cloudburst is based around the cloud algorithm in the Strymon Big Sky, which is a big favorite of mine. It gives you pretty much the same algorithm, but with a few bells and whistles. In addition to that, it gives you an ensemble mode in two stages, which essentially, to my ears, is an octave up and octave down. Strymon say it's like adding a synthesized string section to your sound. Now, the Strymon Cloudburst is obviously a reverb pedal, and the Meris LVX is labeled as a modular delta delay pedal. However, I've got a sneaking suspicion that I'm going to get somewhere in the ballpark of the cloudburst using the LVX, because as you know by now, the LVX is far from a normal delay pedal. Alrighty, so we have a clean tone. We have a blank Maris LVX setting, number 90, and we're going to use this as our bank that we create our Strymon cloudburst esque sound on so we're going to dive into it we're going to pick a delay now i already have earmarked poly delay this is the algorithm off the polymoon from meris it allows you to blend in the delay points so it becomes like a pad like reverb so at the moment we've got three taps we're going to increase that we'll go to six we're going to put the right division on a dotted eighth the left division on a quarter note which is something i like to do <laughs> So you can already hear that starting to bleed into each other. We're going to put the dimension knob up. This pedal is obviously a delay pedal primarily, but just again shows you the variation that you can get within this. So we're going to go for, uh, we've got like 50% feedback. So if we just pull that down a bit. What are we on there? 21. So if you had a reverb, that would be your decay time. So we could go to 100%. And that's going to play out for a longer time. So we don't want quite that much, but we could do if we wanted some like pad-like synth sounds. So just checking what else we've got on our delay. I think we're good to go. That's quite a good... Uh, almost reverb sort of level. Now, the, the level bit here is what I was looking for, actually. So we've got that at 100% level. We're going to get more of the clean signal coming through. And again, from a reverb point of view, that's like impacting your mix. Turn that up to about 75. We want it to be pretty reverb heavy because, again, we're trying to recreate the cloud burst here. There we go. So a nice ambient pad. We'll call that our basic cloud setting, if you like, on the LVX. The next thing we're going to try to do then now is the pitched effect. So we've got several pitch algorithms here in the LVX. Uh, we've got polychroma. We've got harmony, microtune, lo-fi, and monochroma. So I'm going to go for, I'm going to try monochroma. So it's a monophonic pitch, which means it's going to be generally better on single notes. But what we're going to do is we're going to, we've got an ability to impact the left and the right pitch. So as I said earlier, the um, cloud burst offers an octave down and an octave up. So we're going to do that. We're going to shift the left pitch to an octave down. Let's turn that off. Okay, let's go up an octave on the right. The 
minute, we've got the mix at 50% and we've got the location at pre. Oh, so let's try feedback loop. Post. Okay, so we're going to go for feedback loop. I think that was sounded the most balanced. And we'll try the mix. Oh, wrong way. We're going to try the mix at a hundred. Okay, we're going to leave it somewhere around sort of just under 40. So that's our basic sound, and then we just go back to the delay, and this is where you can um, really go for some of those synth-like pad sounds that you're hearing from the cloud burst. So if we increase the feedback, that means that our delays are going to repeat for longer and uh, because the poly structure that we've got is going to almost be like increasing the decay time on our reverb so let's try that okay so we'll stick about sort of 70 percent but we're going to increase the level now. And again, not a million miles away from what you're hearing with the cloud burst. We'll just try a few other um, pitch settings. We've got the lo-fi pitch. Again, we're going to go an octave down and we're going to go an octave up. To micro tune. Try the same again. discreet sort of shift in pitch. So there we go, look it isn't the cloud burst clearly, but as you can see, you can get pretty damn close to some of these sounds whether that's just a standard sort of reverb sound through the poly algorithm. Those of you that are regulars here on the channel know that I'm a huge fan of the Strymon Big Sky and the cloud algorithm is one of my favorite. When you factor in that the cloud burst is just under 50% of price of what the LVX offers you and just how much more the LVX, for example, does, then again, it just reiterates what good value for money that pedal is. Let me know what you think about the sound that I've created today and how close you think it is to the cloud burst. Leave me a comment down below. If you've liked the video today, then please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd love to have you here on the channel every week. I post multiple videos each week and I'm looking to do more and more videos comparing the LVX to other common sounds or common pedals on the market. Thanks for watching.